is out of Grover Beach. Check that out. See the horse right there on the beach? That is incredible. Webcams at KSBY.com on patrol for you, powered by Surfline. You get a look at the ocean. You get a look at the conditions. You can know the water temperature, swell, and the swell forecast, all for free from us. Go over to KSBY.com and check it out. And if you're online, why not send in a picture? So many great pictures this week and storm reports. I appreciate all of them. Karen's view of some of the ocean waves out there today like that Cecil Horton up in North County just showing us some of the greenery after the recent rainfall and Mark Ray showing us a duck on the pond. I like that be on KSBY. Get those pictures in temperatures right now. Pretty mild 53 in San Luis 56 Santa Maria and Santa Barbara. We have 49 for us in Paso Robles and 51 in Lompoc. The winds currently under 10 miles per hour, not that bad. So fairly light wind forecast as well. Daytime highs today, though clearly we're behind a cold front, so a lot of temperatures topped out right around 60 degrees, which is shy of average. Santa Barbara did get to 64 degrees today, but you can see a lot of folks just struggling in the 50s. Morning lows were cool. Frozen San Luis and Paso this morning and Cuyama as well. Well, we're going to warm up a little bit over the course of the weekend, especially on Sunday. Even though we see more cloud cover, we're also going to get warming conditions thanks to the air mass moderating and coming at us from the south. So you can see more of that offshore flow tonight. I do think we have another round of localized areas of dense cloud cover, low cloud cover and fog in wind sheltered interior valleys. You can see those winds pushing offshore as we get into Sunday morning as well. But high clouds start pushing into the area with all that cloud cover. You might think, well, temperatures stay on the cool side, but we could reach 70 degrees on Sunday. Now there isn't rain opportunity as we get into Monday and Tuesday, late Monday into Tuesday. Models kind of disagree on the timing, but I think it's a Northern California storm more than locally. We could see a little bit of rainfall, but under a 10th of an inch if it rains. Then we have to watch what might happen around next week. This is another Northern California storm. It is a lot of snow for the Sierra Nevada. Locally, a better opportunity for rainfall here. So let's take a look at rainfall amounts projected. So Tuesday, again, 10th of an inch or under, but if we get out to that Sunday event, it's something to watch. It's a half inch to maybe even an inch of rain locally. So we'll have to watch that pretty carefully. Again, the weekend looks pretty quiet. More sunshine on Saturday than Sunday. Sunday's a warmer day, but Saturday's not that bad. 65 in San Luis, 58 Paso, 69 Santa Barbara, 62 in Santa Maria. So at or slightly above the average for daytime highs. 59 in Cuyama, 64 Santa Inez and Solvang. You'll note freezing conditions tonight in Cuyama and also the Santa Inez Valley. In the five cities, lower 60s for daytime highs. Again, that offshore flow will dry out the air a little bit. Again, we're looking at areas of potential cloud cover and fog in the interior valleys late overnight and early in the morning. Here's a look at the five day forecast. Again, that rain could either be on Monday or Tuesday. Kind of depends which model you want to go with, but you can see it stays pretty mild in the extended forecast here. Paso Robles and North County conditions stay around the upper 50s and low 60s. San Luis Obispo temperatures again could reach 70 on Sunday.